You're listening to WICR, Iona College Radio. Happy Thursday, gals. I'm Rocky DePala, joined by Johnny Diaz, and today we're going to talk about some comebacks in the NBA. Now, as you all, as you, you all know, what happened in the situa- situation between uh, then free agent DeAndre Jordan mm-hmm. and the Dallas Mavericks. You know, he yeah. verbally he verbally agreed to a contract, but then never signed it and just went back to the Clippers. Give us your take on what happened last night and that whole bizarre situation. I mean, they didn't really boo him that bad. You know, like the way LeBron James went to the Miami Heat. Oh, that Cleveland, was that yeah. Was Cleveland memorable. trashed on him. And a, but, I'm a basketball fan, but not so much for a Cleveland fan. <laughs> but but one thing that stood out to me is that Jeff Van Gundy, what he said, he goes, people would rather boo DeAndre Jordan that didn't really do anything, just decided not to go to Dallas, but rather cheer for, for Hardy. Uh, yeah, you know, like he goes, you know? yeah, and he's just like, how, how, how can that be possible? You know, that just doesn't make any sense. That's that's messed up, you know. But um, I mean, Dallas won yesterday, so it wasn't too bad, you know. But I I just don't really understand why, you know, like he didn't really do anything wrong. I mean, supposedly it wasn't even him making the verbal agreement; it was his agent. Because they have the they have the same agent, him Chandler Parsons. The lack of communication. Yeah. And yeah. that and that's what it went what it went down to, and a lot of people don't really know that. You just have to really see it's stuff like that that can get an agent fired. In all seriousness, yeah. I'm pretty sure he probably did fire him. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled a Donald Trump on him. Yeah, but you're, uh, you're fired. The, yeah, <laughs> in the game though, he almost had a double double: nine points, mm-hmm. eleven rebounds. But uh, of course, you know, horrible at the free throw line. Yeah, three of nine, <laughs> Brick City. I mean, you can't be worse than like, Ben Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like uh, you ever saw White Man Can't Jump? Yeah. Where uh, Woody Harrelson's like, oh, what is this, a Mason's convention? He's like, clank, clank. <laughs> That's what it was like watching uh, DeAndre Jordan yeah. shooting free throws last night. Jeez, he... A Mason's convention. And that's <laughs> and you know what? And that's why they lost. Because when it goes, you you have an opportunity to make free throws. you got to make the free throws, especially during crunch time. And it was so funny. Like, remember that tactic that both the Rockets and the Clippers used last year yeah. in last year's playoffs where the Rockets would foul DeAndre Jordan yeah. and then the Clippers would foul Dwight Howard because they were so abysmal at free throw shooting yeah. that they would always miss? The Mavericks were doing that mm-hmm. last night. Yeah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? It's, it's, you ruin, you're ruining your defensive transition, mm-hmm. you know? You know, it, the shenanigans just got to stop, you know, or you figure it's got to stop sooner or later, you know? Yeah. And uh, it seemed like Chandler Parsons was happy for the win yesterday because he, he made a comment. I don't, I don't know what word specifically, but he, he pretty much mentioned that <laughs> since he got booed here in Dallas, he didn't do that great of a job for L.A. anyway. So he got booed for his performance. Yeah. <laughs> so and it uh, uh, looks like Mark Cuban was enjoying that, too. Uh, he you know? was having a handful. Oh, absolutely. I, I love Mark Cuban. I love I'm a Rocket fan. I, I hate the Mavericks. <laughs> So, yeah. Spurs, I respect. I respect yeah. the Spurs. Let's talk about the Spurs, man. Oh, uh, speaking of another comeback, LaMarcus Aldridge yeah. comes back to came back to Portland. Um, uh, yeah, before his uh before that game, he was averaging only 15 points per game. So, people were wondering where is LaMarcus Aldridge that we know. Uh, yesterday he he dropped 23 points. He had a great game. You know, he was a uh, player of the game and yeah, six rebounds mm-hmm. and I also heard that the Portland crowd, you know, applaud him, you know, for yeah, his they contributions. They booed him the uh, they booed him a couple times, but it wasn't like cuz he was, you know, he was probably balling and defeating their team, maybe that yeah. was why. But in terms of like, you know, introductions, though, you know, they applaud him, they respect him for his contributions mm-hmm. to the Trailblazer organization, all all that he's done. Mhm. Yeah, he I mean, he he did a fantastic job with Portland and you know, he he's from Texas. So that's pretty cool that he gets to play in his home home state right you know so uh, no friends family only a few hours away by yeah. car you know mm-hmm. and he's a great player i mean he did a great job yesterday and yeah so but you know you kind of wish that you know the trailblazer fans were more like were more like you know the laker fans or, or why can you say it you kind of wish the way the trailblazer fans treated lamarcus aldridge you kind of wish that all the fans of the teams did that yeah but you but know that's the, not always the case yeah. you know like think about it look at LeBron James from from Ohio and when he left Cleveland they booed him but bad see, see here's the know? thing Cleveland they haven't won a championship since 1964 with the Cleveland Browns so yeah. they're just hungry they're desperate for a team to win a championship yeah and you know out of all the teams at the time you know the Cavaliers and LeBron James were the closest to that feat yeah you know and then when he left the Cavaliers just plummeted mm-hmm. you know 
ticket sales went down, attendance went down, mm -hmm. you know, and the city kind of hit an economic uh, crisis for yeah. a good four or five years. Yeah, very true. And you know what? Cleveland looks good, too. <laughs> you know, they look I they mean, looked really good. Col I mean, the Laker fans booed Shaq yeah. when he came back, when he was with the Heat. Mm -hmm. You know, then the guy won you three titles, three titles. Mm -hmm. A three, he, the guy had a three P, and you boo him. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like you, I think sometimes NBA fans can be unappreciative for players and what they do. Yeah, and it's business. They have to understand that it's business. So see, they don't. They don't. That's yeah, the problem. They don't. Yeah. They don't. They don't. So. But anyway, that was uh, last night's recap of the NBA. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking forward to? Say come. The All Star break. By the All Star break, what are you looking forward to? Um, I want to see if the Warriors can keep this streak alive. I mean, they're nine, oh, nine and, and nine yeah. and zero. Curry is is on another level this year. On another level, and and I, and I said it too. I said it, and people just still didn't believe it. They think that they're still a Cinderella team. No, they're He's probably not a Cinderella. No, no, not an, it's Cinderella. not anymore. Not Far anymore. You it. know, he was at that moment, uh, at that time, but not anymore. I mean, Curry's looking like he's looking to make a name for himself yeah. and he's going to leave that name and you, you're never going to see a player with with great handles great vision and that could shoot the ball lights out like it's like it's almost automatic it's, it's like, ridiculous it's kind of like watching reggie miller or ray allen play you know yeah and all in one <laughs> you know and but the only difference is those guys made it but they never always swished it Cur stephen curry it seems like he's always swishing it the mm. ball's not even hitting the rim that's yeah. that's how crazy it is yeah so, I mean, he's, he's an incredible player. And that team, they just, they're looking like the Spurs. Like, they just, the chemistry is there, you know. The chemistry is just there. And it's right. fantastic to see because the war Warrior fans are literally the most loyal fans. Yeah, they went through they, uh, two, a few uh, stretches. They went through hell and back, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I mean. Went through, through, uh, went through a long period of time of losing, you know. Yeah. So, they, they deserve it. They deserve it. And, uh, like I said again, it, it's going to be. The Warriors versus uh, versus Cleveland again. It, it, it's Not Thunder Cavaliers, as uh, Sports Illustrated. I, I I think LeBron is gonna he's gonna do whatever it takes to to get back to the championship. Yes. Um, especially if I I mean I I want it to happen that way because you got to think about that Kyrie Irving wasn't there, Kevin Love wasn't there, yeah. so we don't know how that team can be during the championship. Right. And maybe who knows? Maybe it'll go to Game Seven. We don't know. I mean, I just want to see a fantastic finals. Right. You know, so. But uh, it should be fun. Yeah. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'm Rocky Tapala. He's Johnny Diaz. Have a great day, Gales.